Welcome back everyone to Rockin' and Rollin'. So, as I said, we're gonna keep going on to the NG controlled sector. I'm still, I mean, <laughs> I don't really have a lot of confidence with the Rock Cruiser, but I feel as though we're in a all right position right now. We have, I really like to get our shields up to level two actually. Let's see. Any of these useful? No, not really. So I'm gonna buy some missiles, some fuel. We really need to fix up our ship. It's unfortunate that we have to spend a lot of scrap on that. But hopefully we can get some good random events where we can get some more scrap. Let's see. All right, we'll rescue the store, sure. That store better have a lot of good loot there. Alright, here we go. Rock plating is very nice. Oh, yes. So there's a strange stasis pod. Oh, so <laughs> I've been trying to get that crystal cruiser for so long. But for this video, like in the last videos, we're going to get the weapon and spare scrap just for the idea of trying to help these people get as far as possible. Let's see how. As much as one crystal guy would probably help us out, and even getting the crystal cruiser would probably help us out a lot. The weapon and scrap is probably going to be more useful on this run. So we're going to go with the missile and beam strategy. In fact, after I fire this, oh wait, I can't. It's like, I should charge up that whole missile. That way I can do a lot more damage. So I want to get this across as many parts of the ship as possible. And I think that'll give me five different areas. But actually, let's focus on some damage on the weapon systems. Since we are heavily, heavily, heavily lacking in weapons, or in shield technology. Okay, they have their shields back up. Trying to escape. This was... How is their FTL delayed? That's what I don't understand. Maybe that means that there's nobody in the piloting area? Oh yeah, this is also a new feature in the since the update. So it tells you if the ship is actually charging their FTL or if they're being delayed. You can see it definitely once you do damage to the piloting system or the engines. But if it's delayed right now, that leads me to believe that there's nobody in the piloting area. Interesting new feature. I kind of enjoy it. At least it lets me know if the enemy is about to get away. Okay, some fuel and some missiles. Of course, some scrap really want to upgrade this as soon as possible. Another store. I'd like to stop in this store, but it feels like we have to keep moving. Can't spend all this scrap if I want to keep upgrading my ship. Let's see. Attack them to get to the storage cache. All right. Let's do it. Oh, they have a drone here. Damn. No part of this drone is good for us. Alright, at least we hit their shields. Fortunately, our shields are damaged. Oh, we have our beam ready. Let's try and take out the drones. Oh my goodness, we did not. We were not able to take them out. There we go. Now the drones will be done. Fortunately, our weapons have been damaged. Need to repair those up as quickly as possible. Yeah, 
Yeah, I definitely should have put some more into the shield system. Alright, shields are up. We were lucky and we got a miss there. So prepare yourselves to be killed by the halberd beam. Nice, that worked out. Alright, we got a lot of scrap. And we got some fuel. I was I always get concerned when fuel runs below ten. Now we can definitely get the upgrades necessary to pump up that shield system. Alright, another distress signal. Hopefully something we can handle easily. Alright, yes, NGs can repair their satellite defense system. We got a drone recovery arm, which is pretty much worthless right now. And let's go to the store. We now have some spare scrap. We can sell this we can, we're going to sell the anti bio beam for sure. This isn't a slug cruiser. And let's get some fuel. And actually I kind of want to upgrade the engines a little bit. But we'll do that. Do that at a later time. Let's get some missiles. We'll fix up our ship. Actually, let's sell this drone recovery arm. We don't need that right now. So now we have enough power for that. Dang. <laughs> we need one more scrap for to upgrade our power systems. Oh my goodness. Fuel or no fuel? Fuel or no fuel? We'll be kind, and we'll give them fuel. This, I may end up regretting this, but... Breach Bomb Mark II? Actually, this may be a winning weapon right here. Yeah, yeah, that could really help us out in the future. Once enemies start having drones, defense drones and our missiles not be able to get through, we can just use a breach bomb. That is quite awesome. So let's engage the rebels. It's always good to rescue people. Okay, where is this guy? Oh, only one dude? Come on. I have a rock and an NG. Let me think about some strategy right here. All right, I think we'll go with the beam weapon again. You know what? We're gonna decrease our oxygen. We need to up our evade chances right now. a missile into their shields and we can beam that attack them now so we're gonna go from shields all the way whoa all right we'll go across this way good that guy died sphinx is pretty pretty highly damaged but oh well we're still doing good if I can take down their shields a little bit more should be able to finish them off with one more halberd blast. Yep. So let's cut across and destroy the enemy ship. Now let's power this down. Alright. Yep. They're ready to kill you. Freaking rebels. Just get so angry. And you're just going to give me some stuff. I'm going to buy up that fuel since we gave all that fuel away to those NGs. Do we get anything to sell? No. And do I want some missiles? I'm going to take two missiles. And I'm going to heal up my crew. So we'll cut back once they are all healed. So Sphinx and Easter Island are healed, and I'm going to buy some more power. Now we should be able to power up everything except for our med bay, which is okay with me. And we have two more subsectors that we can go to before exiting. Hmm. A rebel fighter. They only have one shield, though. 
which is going to be good for us, as we're going to start blasting them with our halberd beam. Yeah. These guys are pretty heavily screwed right now. And we are also pretty heavily screwed. Because they just damaged our shield system. Alright, we got it. We got it back up. That's okay. These guys are going to need to go to the med bay. Might as well send them on their way since this halberd beam is going to kill these enemies right off. Yep, there we go. So just a little bit of healing. Yeah, that went well. A little bit of healing, and then we shall go to the exit. Okay, the crew is healed. Hit up that exit. I don't think we need any data stores. Although, they don't have anything on board this ship. Actually, we might as well attempt to download it. We may get some more scrap just from destroying the enemy ship, so whatever. That's cool with me. Did take a little damage there. That's fine. Because we blew them up with one halberd beam. Always nice. Yep, so we got some more scrap. We got fuel and a drone part, so... All in all, good decision, good overall decision right there. So, when playing FTL, it's always a good idea to look at your options, but also look, is the enemy strong? Are they weak? It's a good idea to kind of assess how well, or how easily you can take them on in a fight. So NGs or rock controlled sectors. So I'm going to avoid the NG homeworlds because NGs like to have a lot of defense drones and drones in general. Whereas the rocks are straightforward. We just get into a slug fest with them. A peaceful journey through there, but don't count on it. Yep, I don't count on it either. Okay. Yep, we're going to carefully cut them out so we can get a reward. A nice reward, too. And... What is the next thing that I want to upgrade? For right now, I'm going to upgrade the engines. Although I think I'm going to want to upgrade our weapon systems very soon so that I can use multiple of these weapons at the same time. Yep, here we go. We're finding some stuff. <laughs> they gave me this this random event again. Oh my goodness. Grabbing these stasis chambers and saving saving the crystal people. Sorry, we're going to take the weapon and spare scrap again. Let's see, we have a burst laser mark one. Interesting, interesting. Don't have to worry about that right now, but that'll make an interesting couple choices for how I want to, what kind of weapon loadout I want to use later on. So they're using Mantis Tech to come on board. What a bunch of jerks. Where is he going? He's going to the med bay. I bet even this NG guy could fight you in the med bay. Of course, we're going to actually have to power up the med bay. Let's fire our missile into their shield systems. Now, how do I want to cut them with this halberd beam? This way? Could I possibly even get five? seems pretty insane, but it looks like it could work. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, it did hit five areas. Although, of course, the rocks had to resist it. Yeah, I'm going to hit them with a missile actually in their weapons bay. Hopefully that will stop their missile from charging. Just because even though I could hit five sectors with the beam. Oh, damn it. Oh, they have a fire on board. Even though I could hit five sectors with the beam weapon. 
it would be likely that they would resist some of that damage. So now, let's actually get this jerk off of our ship, since our NG guy is not doing very well. Here we go. Fisty cuffs. Well, rocks are pretty good fighters because of their high HP. Just them being so slow is such an annoyance. All right, so now I'm gonna upgrade our weapon systems. Now possibly I may either use, this gives me a lot of options. Now I can use either the Breach Bomb, the Artemis and Halberd Beam, Artemis Hull and Breach Bomb. I mean, there's so many options here. <laughs> Of course there's going to be a store right there that I have no resources to buy anything with. So we're going to sell these drone parts. I do not believe I'm going to install a drone system on board this ship. <laughs> Best to stay out of rock people affairs. But I am rock people. I should be able to get involved in affairs that I have no reason being involved in. Oh, wow. Three shields, triple shield. So I'm going to power up the breach bomb. Because possibly it doing three damage will be enough to power down two of their shields. At least that is my hope. Yes, indeed. Okay. Now then, what's the maximum amount of rooms I can hit? Looks like five again. I'm getting quite lucky. Or at least I'm getting better at how to aim these beam weapons. Yep, nice. So I'm actually going to drop another breach bomb right in there. Take their shields all the way down. That will allow me to do double damage with my halberd beam, doubling it from one to two, and destroy the enemy ship without that much fuss at all. So fuel, missiles, overall a good battle. So let's see. I'm gonna. I, I believe I have, can hit five subsectors before the rebels catch up to us. So. Let's jump into a sun, of course. <laughs> oh, man. So same strategy, using our breach bombs on the shield system. In fact, I should send this guy down to the weapons area. Because that is going to be quite critical for us to get out of here. Great solar flare. Okay, whatever. Actually, I should send him. Actually, I don't really care that much about the sensors. And time for the beam. I think I could get five, right? If I hit this way. Yeah. Ah, they resisted. Good on them. And actually, I may want to swap out that burst, this whole mo- Ah. Talking? Talking! I talk good. I may want to swap out this whole missile for that burst laser. Just because I'm doing pretty good at destroying the enemy shields. And then I don't really need to use this breach bomb. But let's... Oh wait, we can't jump yet. We have to get the scrap first. I was like, ready to jump! Let's get out of this sun! Leaving behind missiles and scrap? That would have been... Highly foolish. Everyone on YouTube would... I would hear their shouts of rage. Just hear all of them. And of course, I didn't have a chance though. Didn't have a chance to swap out those weapons. Because we decided to fly next to the sun. I'm getting pretty lucky on the weapon combinations of our enemies. 
So far, they have not been able to either penetrate the shields or do a lot of damage to our ship, which is nice. Okay, two, all right. Uh-oh, now that was some massive damage. What, why is there fires everywhere on this ship? I should definitely probably have checked that out beforehand. <laughs> There's fires everywhere. Oh my goodness. There's going to be a lot of dealing with that quite soon. Okay, so let me put out these fires. We'll be back in a bit. Oh my goodness, fires everywhere. Well, that was quite ridiculous, but we've put out all the fires. And now it's time to upgrade our ship. And I'm going to look at upgrading the shields next. The thing seems to be probably our next best bet. And selling. Hmm. So I wanted to put in that burst laser. And let me calculate how much total energy this requires. So this is five, five, eight. How much can I put in my ship? Five, eight, okay. So even if I wanted, I think, I think this is actually a pretty good loadout of Artemis, Breach, and Burst Laser. So I'm actually gonna sell that whole missile. And now we're going to do a little bit of fixing. Buy some fuel, a couple missiles. Fix a little bit more. I like that 25, it's, it's a pretty good number. And we're going to upgrade our ship. Of course, we don't have enough power for it. Dang. All right, so hopefully we're gonna get some more scrap real quick so that we can get enough power Power up these shields. Okay, some pirates. Hey, what's up, yo? Let's see. They have missiles and lasers. Let's power this down. We've been doing okay with two shields so far. Once that breach bomb goes in, we'll use our halberd beam. Dang, a miss. That is not good at all. Giving these guys extra chances to hit us, never a good idea. Luckily they are missing a lot. This is very good for us. There we go. Now the halberd beam across. There we go, we have done massive damage here. Now we can charge up that burst laser. Nice, that, that is a good weapon rotation right there. Okay, fuel and scrap. We now, I think it's worth it to sacrifice 5% evade for one more shield. Sacrificing 10% evade for one more shield? Not really. Someone, if there actually is a graph, and I'm sure that somebody has made one, please do share that with me. I think it, it's a very, you could mathematically plot that out, and I think that would be awesome to look at. So let's intervene to defend the outpost. Yeah, these guys are gonna get punked on real hard. In fact, since they only have one shield, I'm not even gonna charge up my breach bomb. Get that burst laser on their shield system. Nice. Oh, that did not completely take out their shields. Now that is unfortunate. So let's cut from their shields first because that'll enable us to do more damage to every room afterwards. Nice. And now they're going to die. Very good.
And of course, actually, although that, what I was talking about, that mathematics of evade versus shield, I think, uh, I don't know, you'd have to take into account for missiles versus lasers, how quickly you can charge up the shields, beam weapons. Actually, it's very situational what you want to put your energy into if you have to make a choice. And luckily now, I do not have to make that choice anymore. I really want to power up our weapon systems. That'll be the next thing. So let's see what's on our next. <laughs> Slug home nebula. I guess we only have one choice. But this is the end of Sector 4. Yeah, I'm feeling a lot more confident than I was at the end of Sector 2. We are getting some good weapons, and we are making steady upgrades to our ship, which is always nice. So, join me back here when we travel to the Slug Home ne Nebula. Till then, take care of yourself.